I knew I could count on you. Sex always made you stupid, ready to believe anything. <laughs> You've you just, just made, made me very rich. Let's take it from you standing up again. Ava Lord has, and I'm just quoting Frank because I asked him, I said, is something in Ava Lord's past that made her want to come this way? Does she, was she really hurt and now she's getting revenge on just anybody who gets in her way? He's oh no, she has, she's a demon. She has a supernatural ability to crawl into a person's head and twist them around. It's like, holy crap, <laughs> she's a succubus. And so I said, okay. Well, that, at least now I know what to tell the actress. You're a Sin City cop. You've got a badge and a gun. You've got power. Use it. It's always a pleasure, actually, to, to play evil roles, I have to say. that I, It's very um, jubilating. If you're a man, kill him. Maybe because I'm shy in real life, so it's fun to explore the dark side. If you could pulse this an instant before you used the word matrimony. Ava Green has a way of spanning decades with her performance. She's really got it all. She's a very disciplined, very clever actress. You're a warrior. If she looks at you like she loves you, then you're convinced. It's true. I mean, she has these eyes that are so, I don't know, that threw me off center when I first met her. You know, because she's got this look, and you're just like, what's happening? When you're immune to me, I'll let you know. And then you see it on screen. You get to see the black and white, the heavy contrast, and the crushed blacks, and her eyes just pop like crazy. I'm sorry. I think she's an amazing actress. You're looking right at me. She's perfect. She pulls it off to where you go, okay, yeah, that's a dame to kill for. Hey, what's happening, movie fans? With the next chapter in The Hunger Games about to hit theaters, I've got an interesting fact about everybody's favorite, Jennifer Lawrence, or as she is now known, J. Lo. Once, a tabloid was going to run a story about J. Lo having an affair with one of her co-stars. Her publicist alerted her to the story and she was allowed to choose who she was having the affair with. She chose Bradley Cooper over Samuel Claflin. Well, wouldn't you? That's all for today. I'm Valerie and I'll see you next time.